In this video, I'm going to talk about the most basic requirements to safe and effective rainwater harvesting, no matter where you are in the world. Okay, so we've got a small rain tank here. It's only a thousand liters, and this really is not very much water when it comes to irrigation. Um, we had a couple of these free tanks uh, available, and so we put this tank in in order to manage a rainwater problem that we had. Um, as we're dealing with all the grading on the property, a bunch of the eaves troughs are using or putting water in places we don't want to have them. And so we're using this in the interim. Long term, we're going to put a much larger tank here um, that will, um, in fact, the tank won't even just be sitting here, it's going to be below grade. And so all of the rainwater that we store is going to go underground and then we'll actually be using it in our house. Um, but this will solve the problem in the short term. And so you can see the tank is actually already full. Um, the most important uh, component in a rainwater harvesting system, there's actually three. So a good roof surface. So I really like steel roofs. They're very clean. Uh, they don't hold or harbor a lot of dust. Um, and so they are really good at harvesting clean rainwater. Properly managed and maintained gutters. So with the right slopes. Um, that have the ability to get access to the sun so that they can be sterilized uh, by that by that sunshine um, and having the right slope um, means that uh, they shouldn't accumulate a whole bunch of debris in them and then lastly um, the rain head and you can see this is a perfect example of why you want a good rainwater filter and what it's keeping out of the tank so this rainwater filter <coughs> needs to be cleaned it's a great time to make a video. And so it's really simple to do it. You just kind of scrape it off. You might take it inside and wash it. So what is this called and, and where can people get something like this? So this is a this is the filter on top of a rain head. And in Canada here, you can buy it from Bar Plastics. Um, and they're out of uh, BC. Um, there's also a few websites. This is actually an Australian product. Um, and all it is is really just a fine stainless steel mesh that uh, filters out any debris. It's on a 45 degree angle or 30 degree angle. It's nice and steep. So theoretically in a big rain event, this should uh, wash itself clean, but there's actually some debris on there that was not coming off, which is why I've done it. And I might even take a brush to that just to kind of clean up. There's some algal growth in there and things like that. This is going to stop mosquitoes going into your tank. It's going to stop the majority of the debris going into your tank, which is why um, the water in here is actually quite clean right now. Um, rainwater tanks are really cool because um, some of the research done by Dr. Peter Coombs and some of, some of his associates have shown that the surface of these tanks actually form biofilms. Uh, and the biofilms are basically just microbial communities that uh, filter the water. So they actually accumulate any toxins in the water. Um, rainwater has so few nutrients in it because we're blocking the nutrients with a screen like this that these microbes that live in these biofilms get really hungry and so they'll actually eat anything that's in the water. And so they've shown that the biofilms um, uh, when they've tested things like heavy metals can have uh, concentrations of heavy metals of, of like lead, for example, of up to 300,000 times the concentration when compared to the center center water column in the tank itself. And so the microbes that build up on the surface and the sludge layer that forms on the bottom are actually part of the cleaning process. But for them to work effectively, you need rainwater that doesn't have a lot of nutrient in it. And in order to prevent that, you need a good roof which doesn't harbor dust, you need good gutters, and you need a good screen that will keep the majority of the debris outside of the tank. Hopefully you found that interesting. We've got a bunch of other rainwater harvesting videos on the channel that you can check out. We also have an online rainwater harvesting course with uh, this year's drought. I think it's been the 1200 year drought. This was some of the things I've been reading. Um, more of us have to start getting into harvesting snow and harvesting rainwater, which we're going to do more research on. Um, this is going to become an absolutely essential component of survival in the future as water becomes more scarce on this planet. So check out the show notes below uh, for information on our rainwater harvesting course and all of our other rainwater resources.